This system is going to change the game completely, but how is it actually going to work in practice? Firstly, the hitbox rework vests and rigs will now only protect the areas they physically cover with the model. But along with this, the vests you know are changing completely. At face value, a slick, which currently has 80 durability, will have up to 150, and an NFM Thor, which currently has 90, could have up to 275. There are 12 total armor zones on this Thor. Back, chest, left and right sides, neck, stomach, left and right shoulders, as well as front, back, left and right plates. Now this is important. The chest and back armor sections, which each have 40 durability, are separate from the tier 6 ES API plates that we can see inserted here. That means some armors will likely have Kevlar protection as well as insertable armor plates adding even more protection. That's how we get up to 275 durability on the Thor. How this all works in practice as seen here is, while a slick will no longer cover your neck at all, it will protect excellently where the plates are installed. So gameplay wise, while vests will protect less of your body with this rework, they will be far more effective on the areas that they do protect.